hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum! The moon landing didn't happen. Oh sorry, I farted. What? Oh my God, we need to talk about my shopping addiction. I think it got so bad where I would go to the bank and I would at one time take out $10,000 and be like to my partner, I'd be like, all right, let's go on a shopping spree. And we would just shop till we dropped and that's disgusting. And I will never be like that again, unless I'm like a millionaire and it's like a special moment, like, oh, shopping spree. Hey, Gauls, how you doing? Amberlynn is so boring, but we have to keep up with her anyways, lol. Meanwhile, I have been watching 1000 Pounds Sisters and it is the best show ever. I love Amy and Tammy's journey and the whole show. Let me know if you have been watching it too. Before getting into the videos, I want to show you some outrageous things Amblin said in her Instagram Q&A. Not comparing, but Amy's BMI is lower than yours now. Impatient has saved her life. What saved her life was being in a coma and weight loss surgery. Weight loss surgery is next for me. I'm so proud of Tammy. The newest episode of her show made me cry. Heart attack do discriminate, based on risk. Smokers, obese, cholesterol issues, is not everyone. Anyone can have a heart attack. Literally anyone. You don't have to be fat, a smoker, a drinker, etc. Yeah, that puts you at high risk, but reality is, if you are human, you're at risk. No lime in the medical field. Heart attacks do discriminate based on multitude factors. This is an example of someone I'm blocking. This is probably what a lot of you would consider constructive criticism. This is what I consider condescending or passive-aggressive. Instead of having a normal conversation and correcting me, the law says more than just those three letters. Nothing is funny about heart attacks. This person is just being bitchy. I personally don't want that energy near me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the definition of gaslighting Lowell. She got triggered because people were correcting her on her stupid comment about heart attacks, and she got mad at Lowell. How can she sit there in her standing desk and being 520 pounds arguing with people that anyone can get a heart attack and being fat doesn't matter Lowell. Also, she loves calling people passive-aggressive and condescending, but that comment about Tammy being in a coma was all of that. How are you discrediting Tammy losing weight while gaining weight yourself, Lowell? So, let's get into the five questions and then we'll get into the weigh-in. So the first question is, does the rest of your family also struggle with their weight? And not all of my family, but a really big thing for me when I think of my family and my weight is my grandma on my dad's side. Before I was even born, she was over 600 pounds and she actually got weight loss surgery before I was born. Struggling with weight doesn't have to be being morbidly obese. That's interesting how her grandmother was obese, some bad habits becomes generational curses. It's the same with 1,000 pounds sisters, every on a Amy and Tammy's family are obese and severely overweight. Second question is, do you believe in health at every size? I do not. I do believe in beauty at any size. You can be a thousand pounds and be beautiful. You could be 80 pounds and be beautiful, but I don't think that being morbidly obese or severely underweight is healthy. It never will be. Yes, but she was in her Instagram arguing with people about heart attacks and being obese lol. Health at any size is a very stupid and unscientific lol. But I do agree, you can be whatever weight and still be a beautiful and kind person that has nothing to do with your weight and everything to do with behaviors and actions. You don't drink much water. What are you drinking then? Are you ordering fountain drinks anymore? No, I'm actually not ordering fountain drinks anymore. I'm drinking a lot of this. I'm drinking a lot of AW Zero Sugar Root Beer. Again, this whole not drinking water as a main source of liquid is bizarre to me, Lowell. It's definitely a cultural thing because I would never just have a soda with me to drink. Remember the little fridge she got or drink more water? Yeah, that sucker is full of this shit now. I'm low-key obsessed, but I know that I need to slowly start drinking more water and less diet soda because pretty sure when you get weight loss surgery, you can't have carbonation. So that's going to be a big change for me if I do get approved. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say if. I'm going to say when I get approved. Now that I think about it, getting weight loss surgery might be bad for her lol. There are a lot of restrictions before and after getting the surgery, and I can't imagine Amberlynn having the willpower to say no to all those things. Fourth question is, what's different this time with weight loss surgery versus last time? So I don't know if you guys know this, some of you are new to my channel, some of you haven't seen all my videos or know about every single thing that I do in my life. Um, I have tried to get weight loss surgery before, it was actually a few years ago, and they told me that they wanted me to heal from my past, and I took that as a fail. This time, I know, I know they're gonna say that to me. Instead of thinking of it as a fail, I am accepting it as part of the journey. And the reason why I took that as a fail last time is because I didn't wanna put in the work. I didn't want to at all. And this time I do want to. 
She literally says this any time she is trying to do something new or redo something she has done. Every time she is trying to convince us that she is a new and changed woman. However, we all know how this will end goals. Main focus is not to binge. That is all I'm worried about. I, I really want to see, am I binging or am I a food addict? I have always said that I have binge eating disorder. I was diagnosed with binge eating disorder, but was I misdiagnosed? Because am I just a food addict? I think of this, I've been thinking a lot of addiction lately, you know, with like my family, sorry. I am not an expert on binge eating or food addiction, so I won't comment on that. But I think it's a good step that she is thinking about these things. Um, I grew up in foster care because my parents were drug addicts and my mom's been sober for almost seven years and it's just, it's beautiful. And my dad is still in his addiction and my brother, my little brother, um, he is back in jail for drugs. And it's like, it's so bittersweet because he was homeless and it's like, I couldn't help him right now. This is also something that I'm going through and I know that sounds selfish and I'm not trying to be. It's just, this is like such a, I don't know, it's a very hard time for me because I'm thinking more of addiction. She started talking about her family and started crying for a while. It was kind of weird because no one asked about this and she just started being open out of nowhere. Then, she told us her weight and it all made sense lol. I weighed in at 520.0, which means I did gain weight and I'm exactly where I was on January 1st. There you have it goals, all the whining and crying was because she has gained weight and she knew she was gonna get backlash for it. I swear she does this every single time. Whenever she gains weight she either doesn't want to do weigh in, or she is going through something super personal, which is her brother going to jail. The brother that she hasn't seen since she was like 16. Let's get into the other video. You guys, homemade pizza. It's about to go in the oven. Don't have a clip of the pizza being done, but Feline made homemade pizza. It was the best pizza I have had hands down. Hands down. Like you guys know, I've gone through phases in my life where I did not like pizza. It wasn't really my jam, but as I've gotten older, because taste buds change, people's tastes change, people change in general, I started to like pizza a little bit more. Lol, at what age and when did you not like pizza? Who doesn't like pizza? I have never met anyone who doesn't like pizza lol especially not a big person. All I know regarding Amberlynn and pizza is that she has said that she likes cold pizza and one time she had to force herself to eat those three large pepperoni slices. I did get another scale off of Amazon. This one was not that expensive which shocked me. Eat smart scale? I have no idea. I'm really nervous. I hate getting new scales. Super high, 550 pound capacity. Oh great, she has trying new scale anxiety too. I have my appointment today for the weight loss surgeon situation. I don't think I actually see the surgeon today. I know for just the rest of my makeup, I'm just going to do like a little mini winged eyeliner, some mascara, because I don't know what this appointment's going to entail. Nine times out of ten when I talk about my weight with like health professionals, I cry. I don't know what it is. It's like a weird thing. So, um, I don't want to like do anything crazy with my makeup because I will be crying and I already know I'm going to cry. Noel doing something crazy like what? You only do winged eyeliner and one eyeshadow goal. That's it goals. The only thing that is keeping us entertained is this weight loss surgery saga. I pray that this happens so we can finally see some real changes. What we do here is go back, 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 back.